Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. If you eat meat, maybe you also became a less of the human quality and more of some of the animal's instinct. Meat can even let people into another kind of intoxicants, a doubling its effect and drive the man or the woman crazy and make them do a lot of things that they will regret for the rest of their life. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, on the Harmful Effects of Meat, Part 6, The Cause of Humanity's Degradation. Continue watching to find out more. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you in Arabic, the official language of the Republic of the Sudan. I'm Chanel, the honorable people of the Republic of the Sudan. Pray for a world of eternal peace and love for all beings. May heaven bless you. Warning, you might find the content here in disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. In our modern era, we are increasingly plagued by pandemics, chronic diseases, rising temperatures, intensified natural disasters, and environmental degradation, a planet in crisis. If we look closely, all these devastating issues can be traced back to the human habit of meat eating. The time has come to turn away from what was long accepted as the norm and fully examine meat's impacts on our health and the environment, as well as our moral and spiritual development. Over the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared her insights about the harmful effects of meat on many different occasions. In this series, we present a collection of Master's enlightening teachings on this very topic and pray that humanity will soon awaken and embrace the vegan diet so that we and future generations may live on and in a more harmonious world. It has been widely known that meat is harmful to our health and the environment. However, not many people are aware that meat can also subtly and negatively influence humans' mental state and behavior. In fact, researchers have found that animal abuse and human abuses are closely linked. Meat consumption is the real culprit behind many regretful offenses, fights, and even crimes. If you eat meat, maybe you also became a less of the human quality and more of some of the animal's instinct. And then it's difficult for you to even control your sexual uh, appetite. Yes, and then maybe you could even commit adultery or sexual misconduct due to the animal's influence of meat. It's not just the meat, it's not just the animal's uh, instinct, it is the hormones, the antibiotic, and all kind of uh, harmful substance that uh, went into the meat before they are killed. And after they are killed, even all the preservatives and all the deadly bacteria that inhabit that piece of meat and all kind of thing that drives your hormone even more crazy. And it's easier for you to be unloyal to your partner you see, or to commit even some sexual offense. So some sexual offenders, they are not to blame completely. The society at, at large is to be blamed because they're feeding them all kinds of things that is really crazy, harmful to their body, to their sane uh, mental uh, controlling capacity uh, beyond their comprehensive capability. All these uh, terrible chemical and drugs go into the meat and then go into their body. 
drive them crazy. And for the average guy, it is already a miracle that he can sustain himself and keep himself sane in this chaotic world. So now, meat diet even can cause you trouble in your relationship, in your adultery uh, precept. And the, the last one is intoxicant. Meat make you addictive. It's another kind of drug. You see what I mean? Another kind of addictive. And they also put all kind of things in there, make you addictive as well. Because people eat meat, they also cannot digest very well. So they need wine, you know, alcohol uh, to get more appetite and to digest easily. And then wine, alcohol, also intoxicants, and then lead them to another kind of unlawful act, you know, like drunken driving, yeah, or brawling with other people in the bar and on the street and uh, degrading their dignity, all kind of things, or uh, fighting, quarreling with family members, beating wife and kids. You know, most of the domestic abuse came from alcohol and drug. So meat can even let people into another kind of intoxicants. Doubling it affect and drive the man or the woman crazy and make them do a lot of things that they will regret for the rest of their life. It's dangerous to take meat. More than drug, more than alcohol, more than cigarette. That's why I put meat as number one killer and the other three later on. But we have many more things we have to tackle, of course. But these four are the worst killers of all. And if we want to save our lives and the planet, we have to clean up these substances. I hope you all feel determined ever more to take action to save our planet. That means to save our compassionate nature, God-like nature, Buddha-like nature. Don't let it die for a piece of meat. Don't let our noble self die just for a piece of meat and fish and cheese, whatever related animal product. Peaceful viewers, we will take a moment for an important message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Gracious viewers, welcome back to our program presenting excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful speeches on the negative impact of meat on humans' morality daily conduct, and connection with our divine nature. Meat-eating not only is detrimental to our health, it is the cause for us that we cannot get in touch with our true self also. That's why most people, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. They don't know why. Yeah, sometimes when their stomachs are empty and they're sincere or they're in sorrow, they're more connected with the inside. Yeah, and when their time is smooth and they drink and eat, they don't know anything anymore. So they disconnect again. Even the people who are not practice the Kuan Yin method, they are connected now and again with the divine. Therefore, now and again, they can sustain their life on this planet and then continue like that. That's why they don't live very well, but they do live like a person who is sick, but not completely dead, still can move around, but not completely well. How far does eating meat take us away from God? Wow, too far, too far, much too far. Mm. We are eating ourselves up bit by bit till we become smaller and smaller in spiritual evolution and then we might regress very far, go back lower into the evolutionary scale. And after leaving the body, we will realize all these mistakes by eating other beings as if we are eating ourselves. So we will return to the physical again and again and again to redo our past misunderstandings. But we will be overwhelmed again by new situation and the pressure of this world again. And then we failed again, etc., etc. And each time we fail, the obstacle will be even bigger than the last. Meat is a no-no 
for anybody at all, even not a practitioner. Yeah, you know very well it doesn't bring physical uh, wellness even, not to talk about spiritual uh, progress, not to talk about being closer to God. How can we be close to God if we kill part of God creation? How can we be close to God when we cut a part of the love from God away from ourselves? So meat is a no-no. We should feel ashamed of ourselves, truly. Because we have capability, we have intelligence, yes? And we have been taught by noble masters, just as Buddha, Christ, Mohammed, peace be upon him, Guru Nanak, Jain master, Baha'i, so on and so forth, Krishna, whoever, you name it, to be noble, to be benevolent, to be compassionate, to be at peace with one another. We have been taught all these centuries. And all we think of is how to find a way, make a system, invent something just to kill that little chicken, to make more profit, more meat, or very docile cows or little pigs. This is really a shameful activities and trend of thinking. We should never fall thirst far. We should never degrade ourselves thirst. And I'm sure if anyone with intelligence and logical mind can see my point. Meat eating causes the downfall of people. Even the dedicated members of religious orders cannot escape from the negative consequences in the afterlife. Thus, in her urgent message to all animal meat business and livestock factory owners, as well as those involved in fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab tests, cosmetics, and leather industries, Master stated, this is what hell will sentence you for. One, for degrading vulnerable, innocent, holy priests and monks and nuns into your trap to also have to consume the flesh of helpless, lovable creatures whom God lovingly created. Not for eating, obviously, because in all religious scriptures saying that thou shalt not kill, be you not among wine drinker and meat eater. Be not among even, not just to talk about eating them, but with all this powerful lobby, humanity is dragged into this trap all this time. You see, God created the animals not for eating, but because it's there already and everybody does it, it became like a habit in the society. So even monks and nuns and priests, they are vulnerable, they are busy, they have things to study, they have work to do for others, for their faithful. So they just eat whatever is there, whatever prepare for them. Thus, the eating of the animal flesh, lessening the man of the cloth, their holy status in heaven's eyes, and more likely succumbed even to judgment in the Hades. With not all of them are aware of even. Two, for dragging humanity into a degrading status of disgusting cannibalism from what we are supposed to be, the benevolent children of God, the crown of the creation. Thus, they could be also subjected to terrifying purgatory. Truly, violence breeds violence. Meat-eating causes people to fall from human standards. 
We pray that more people will heed Supreme Master Ching Hai's wise and loving words, choose the vegan diet, and return to our noble and compassionate nature. Dignified viewers, thank you for joining us on our program today. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, on the Harmful Effects of Meat, Part 6, The Cause of Humanity's Degradation. Please tune in again on Thursday, July 30, for the next part of this series. Coming up is The Crosby Family, Icons of Compassion, Conviction, and Faith, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May your life be graced with the glory and wonders of heaven. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash show. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique show. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada s-h-o-w. Mi soraink sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük, tekintse meg itt suprememastertv.com per schedule e suprememastertv.com per SWA